When you're selecting a new camshaft, understanding what the installed height to your valve spring is, is very important to make sure that you match and get it right with the camshaft for the open pressure, the seat pressure, the coil bind isn't an issue, and knowing all those things will help keep your valve train under control. Now there is a very nice kind of expensive little micrometer that you can install in place of the valve spring to help you measure what the full install height is. And all you do is remove the spring out of it, assemble it back together with the micrometer in place of the spring, and twist it open until it seats up against the retainer and the seat or the cup, whichever you're using on the head side, and you measure what that installed height is. Very, very simple, very, very nice tool. But again, it's kind of expensive and there's you probably have tools in your garage that you can do this on your own without buying this tool. And I'll show you what that is. Now, if you got some basic measuring tools in your garage, you can do this without buying that expensive micrometer. And all you need is a straight edge or a steel ruler and a set of calipers. So same as before, knock the spring out of the cylinder head and then install the retainer and the locks on the end of it and make sure that the valve is fully closed. Now, it's easier if you stand the cylinder head up on its end. Uh, it's easier to control that way. And then all you have to do is put the straight edge or the steel ruler up underneath the retainer and measure from it down to the seat or the seat cup. Now a couple little tips there as well. Make sure that the straight edge is flat on the retainer and it's on the right step of the retainer. It needs to be on the surface where the spring rides. Also, the probe that goes down into the cylinder head where the seat cup is, make sure that it is horizontal with the valve stem. That way you'll make sure you get a good, accurate measurement. And measure it a couple of different times on that same valve. Also, it's a good idea to go ahead and knock down another valve or two if you're measuring intake. On this one, make sure you measure a couple other intakes as well, and then do the exact same measurement just to confirm that you have the correct measurement of what the installed height is of that valve spring. Now it's best to take a couple of different measurements here as well. Now on this aluminum cylinder head, it uses seat cups, so I measure it with the cup in place. It also had a shim on there to get the right coil bind and installed height on it from the way this cylinder head was put together before. So I will measure it three different ways. Bare up against the flat part of the cylinder head with no cup or shim, one with the cup and then one with the cup and the shim. Those three should give me a good idea of what the installed height is and what to tell my cam designer of what the actual installed height is. And they will take all that information into play and select the right spring for you. If you got any questions, please leave them down below.